Hey, what's going on, DDO players? Axel here. So last week on Friday, the executive producer and the community manager for DDO, Severlin and Cordovan, they did a Q&A where they went over just for an hour, just tons of huge news topics and things. This was right after the release of the producer's letter, which I went over in my last video, so you can check that out if you haven't seen it. But there were just so many topics discussed in that video, and I wanna go through all of them what I decided to do instead of my normal long video where I go over the whole q and I'm going to split this up into several different videos because I, I realized as I made notes for this video that I had a lot to say and it's just too much for one video. So yeah, so we're just going to get started. So this first video is going to be talking all about VIP gold roll situa situation. So before we get started, a few things really quick. If you want to join my Discord, you can check a link below in my link tree, which I created a few weeks ago, the, the Discord. We have, um, I, I'm doing streams now on Twitch starting at 1 p.m. Eastern time on Saturdays. Also, I lead raids on Thalanus 3 p.m. on Saturdays. Um, also, the Q&A from Seven Cordovan, they will be linked below in the description as well. And lastly, guys, I'm like 43 subs away or so, away from 5,000 YouTube subscribers. So if you're not subbed, I'd really appreciate it if you'd hit the subscribe button. Um, it would help me out. 5K would be a really cool milestone to hit so that'd be awesome so all right let's let's start with vip so vip as i go through these also i'm gonna i, I will tell you the timestamps. so if you want to get the full context you can go back uh, to the sev cordovan interview and also uh, in my last video i talked there at the end section there's timestamps. but in the producer's letter video i kind of gave a little uh, a lot of context on the history of this vip gold roll situation so i'm not going to go through all that again if you want to see like the background or, or what led up to this VIP gold roll drama in the community, you can uh, go check that last video out. But uh, in the video, uh, in the interview from Seven Cordovan, they did at the four minute, 15 second mark, they talked a lot about VIP and they, they really addressed this whole situation and gave your thoughts on it. So bottom line, several said the gold rolls ending in 2022 had to happen. They could not continue indefinitely. He said the reason is fiscal responsibility. So a lot of players have been talking about this recently, you know, this week on the forum. So it seems like the bottom line with the gold rolls is that uh, people were apparently, apparently we can, you know, read into what he's saying here, uh, buying less things from the DDO store because they're getting so many items for free from the D from the gold rolls. So things like, I presume, XP pots, Slayer pots, things like that, they were probably buying less from the store. So in some sense, and we don't know the extent of it, but in some sense it was impacting SSG's bottom line. That's the, the reason they gave. So obviously we can't tell how much it was impacting their bottom line. They're a private company. They don't release that information. So that's essentially the reason why, you know, why they're saying they're ending it. So that's the first part of it. So the next part of it is they're looking into what they're doing in response is they said that in the future they're looking into, and it seems like they're in the early stages of this, they're looking into an ability to do some kind of month to month claim. So you can get a prize still, but it's gonna be less often. And there's going to be some kind of mechanic where the less you claim it, the better prize you get. So it sounds like for me that they're looking to implement now some sort of, so something like the daily gold rolls, except it'll be, to a smaller scale, you probably won't get, it probably won't be as good. That's what I'm reading here, but that's what they're thinking to compensate VIP going forward. Uh, again, this is something that they just talked about here. It's not been confirmed or guaranteed. This is kind of just their their thoughts on all this, which is the same for all the, everything discussed in the Q&A for the most part, unless they say directly that they're confirming this. A lot, a lot of times these are just their thoughts, so you can't take it as will definitely happen. So. I will say, so I, I have a lot of things, a lot of thoughts on this. So their explanation for ending the gold rolls, I think is reasonable. Now, I don't think the manner in which they, the, the timeliness of it is reasonable, but the first thing I want to talk about is just the explanation. So DDO, obviously as a game, it has to make money or it closes, duh, obvious, their business. So we should all want SSG to make money. They have to make money. If they don't make money, we don't have a game. So we should all like, make sure we, we should all be okay with them making fi financial decisions that they have to make to keep the, the bottom line going. So if that's what they're saying they have to do, I take them at their word that it literally was like not a sustainable hit to their bottom line, that it must have done more. I, I get the sense that it must have hurt their bottom line more than they were expecting by making these gold rolls, daily rolls. Uh, I will say I did get a lot myself because I was VIP for most of last year or at least half of last year, but I did get a lot of XP potions, Slayer pots and things that 
that I've stacked up. So I have a lot of those just that I put on mules that I have ready to go for when I need them. Um, so you would also have to assume that the number of VIPs, new VIPs they attracted with the gold rolls were not enough to make up for that loss of sales in the DDO store from old VIPs who were still VIP who were buying less stuff. It apparently didn't, they apparently don't think it's going to, uh, dropping the gold rolls is going to cause them to lose enough VIPs to make up for the, 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 the points spent or the money lost that they were, they were losing from just giving the gold rolls out. So evidently, you know, that's the decision, essentially a financial one. So that decision in and of itself, reasonable, it sounds reasonable. However, what's not reasonable. And I talked about this a little bit in, in my last video is that they took so long, like they've taken so long to come up with a better solution for this. So they had all of last year, to address this problem, you know, they put the gold rolls in the understanding that, that I have and the community has is that that was the recognition of a problem that VIP has been devalued from all the free stuff they give out. Awesome that they give all that free stuff out over the past several years, free coupon codes, the, the five E races, classes, the base ones being free, all that stuff. And that was awesome for them to do. But uh, at the same time, VIP was devalued. And if they didn't think VIP was devalued, then why would they have given us the gold rolls in the first place? So it, seems pretty obvious to me that they realized that VIP was devalued and they agreed with that statement. So therefore they offered the gold rolls as compensation. So with taking them away, why is there not like they had a whole year. So why, if they do agree that VIP is devalued, why don't they have, why aren't they giving VIP something else now, since they did have a long time to come up with a solution to this problem. I know that they had uh, a lot of things they did last year with various, you know, passes and things and, and the, the Isle of Dread expansion and all that. But still, um, they should have had something ready, especially since I think there's a lot of solutions that I'll get to in a minute that don't necessarily wouldn't necessarily involve like a ton of man hours by by SSG. So, um, yeah, we'll get into those in just a minute. But that I think is the main thing, the main problem, you know, with the VIP issue here is is like why why is it taking so long and it looks like since they're now saying they're in the early stages of this ticket turn in monthly system whatever that's going to be if it even materializes they're in the early stages of that so it could be i mean vips could be in a lull of another year you know or maybe more to where they're not really getting anything like my impression up until this q a was that they had something in the wings for VIP, and this is what I mentioned last video, that they had something in the wings. That was the read I was getting from SSG, but they just weren't ready to announce it. But it sounds like that's not true. It sounds like they're in the very early stages of some kind of uh, compensation for VIPs, and, and they aren't even close to, to implementing that. So, yeah, so I, unless they're not telling us something, which it doesn't seem like it, um, it seems like there's going to be a lull for VIPs. So VIPs you know, will have to look at their, their sub and think about it and, and ask themselves if it's worth it anymore, um, you know, to, to keep that sub. And, you know, I hope they keep it because I want to see people support the game. But um, everyone has to make their own financial decisions when it comes to how much money they spend on DDO. All right. So when it comes to other potential solutions, if money is is the main problem here, and that's the reason why they, they went away from the gold rules, why not implement something that caters more towards convenience that wouldn't impact your bottom line? That's that's what I think they should should do here. So in terms of conveniences, I have like a ton of ideas about potential conveniences, and I'm not gonna go through all of my ideas, but I'll go through the one I think I like the best that I've tried to mention on the forums from time to time. And that would be the idea of a VIP lounge. So essentially a maybe a portable hole on steroids you can think of it as, but some separate instance that VIPs can teleport to um, that has a, a tons of conveniences in it. So you could put every relevant vendor in there. You could maybe even do something new, put in all the Saga givers right there in one place. I think that would be fine. I don't think that would be a major hit to, you know, immersion or anything like that. I think that would be totally fine. They could put things in there like, say, like the test kobold from Lamania that has that the, the respawning test kobolds that have ton of, you know, some that have ton of HP or some kind of test kobold that has a lot of H HP. So it could be kind of like the place to go to for for testing. But they could put, you know, a ton of stuff in there like that that wouldn't. I don't. I can't imagine it would take them a lot of a lot of time. And I think something like that would be interesting. Um, they could also do something like, um, in addition to, or instead of that, they could do something like teleport. I mean, they've mentioned this in Q and A's in the past. Why not offer VIPs a better teleport? I don't think they have to 
reinvent the wheel here and spend a ton of time to, to reinvent some great new teleport. How about just, in a, granted, I'm not a developer, so I don't know. Maybe this take would take them more time than, than, I, than I'm realizing here, but why not just make some kind of VIP only teleport that works kind of like the teleport, kind of like the teleport spell, maybe combine the greater teleport and teleport all those different locations into one and don't require you to be in a quest to use it for the greater teleport portion. Maybe something like that. I mean, maybe there's some, uh, tr maybe there's some, like balance issues or something that I'm not thinking of with some of the greater teleport locations, but you get the idea I'm talking about generally. Just offer like a, a nice convenient teleport item for VIPs. So maybe add a few more teleport locations for VIPs that would be really nice for them. You know, and maybe SSG would feel like this isn't enough value, that VIPs wouldn't be satisfied with this, but I think they're actually overestimating how much VIPs need here just to be satisfied. Obviously, VIPs are going to want the most they can get from their subscription, but when it comes to this issue in the current situation in 2023, I think what VIPs want more than anything is just to be pampered and to feel appreciated. Because let's face it, most VIPs get their money's worth through just the 500 DDO points a month and the XP bonus. I think those are by far the biggest perks for VIPs. And I think VIPs are also VIP because they want to support the game. Not all, but many, many, many VIPs also realize that their VIP sub is also a contribution you know, to the game they love. And they just want to feel pampered and appreciated. So I think SSG might be thinking too high here. They might be underestimating the willingness of VIPs to be satisfied by a lesser solution. So... You know, what I would recommend to SSG is just do something now. Don't wait a year because this is only going to get worse the longer you wait. Just do something now. It doesn't have to be something mind-blowing. Just give VIPs a little convenience and a little pampering. I honestly think that VIPs will be happy with that. I think just something from SSG. Just give them a bone. Like They don't need, they don't need a huge new gift. They don't need something gigantic. They don't need some new system that's going to take you a year to develop. Just... Give them a little convenience and a little pampering, and I think VIPs will be okay with that. Not all, but I think most will. And I could be wrong here, but I feel like I have a pretty good thumb on the pulse of the community, and I think VIPs would understand that. And I think that as long as SSG just does something that pampers them a bit, they'll feel appreciated again. I think a lot of the scorn here from the community is just feeling disrespected rather than feeling they're actually not getting enough value from VIP. Then again... SSG could easily solve this in one day by simply boosting the VIP XP bonus up 5%. Obviously, that would satisfy everyone. Obviously, I see why SSG doesn't want to do that. A lot of obvious reasons for that. But uh, if they want to make this go away instantly, that's what they could do. Just bump the XP up by 5%. I don't think that's necessary to go that far to satisfy VIPs, but it certainly would if they want to end this, if they want to end this problem right now. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Let me know what you think about this whole VIP Gold Wolf situation. And uh, I'll re I love reading your comments, so I'll, I'll definitely give your comments a read if you do comment below. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you all enjoyed. See you all next time. Take care.